Welcome to Ask Grandma Carol. Today I have a question from Zoe, who asks, why do people from different countries dress differently? That's a great question, Zoe. And in honor of your question, I'm wearing a Bedouin outfit, something that would be worn by women of the nomadic tribes of the Middle East. There was a time, about 100 years ago, when every country, region, town, or tribe wore traditional clothing that set them apart from others. Today, many people across the globe only dress in the clothes of their culture for holidays and special events. They regard their national dress as a costume to be worn for ceremonial occasions only. Still, there are some societies where traditional clothing is preferred or even mandated. The sari is a garment traditionally worn in India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Nepal. Though mostly worn by women in modern fashion, the sari is a unisex piece of clothing. There are more than 800 different styles of indigenous clothing in Guatemala. The most common components of the women's outfits are the blouse, the sash, and the skirt. The Intuit have lived in what is now Canada for thousands of years, as well as Greenland, Alaska, and Russia. They really know how to stay warm. In the past, and even today, many of the traditional clothes were made of seal skins and caribou skins. The traditional cowboy attire is still worn by men, women, and children in some parts of the United States. Traditional attires from the Dutch, Amish, Mennonite, and German cultures are also worn in the United States. The kimono originated in Japan over 1,200 years ago. It's one of the oldest national costumes still in use. The high-necked, close-fitting dress with a slit in the skirt originated during Manchu rule in China about 400 years ago. The most common traditional clothing outfit in Kenya is the kanga. It is one piece worn over the body. Wearing beaded jewelry is also common. A kilt is a knee-length, skirt-like garment with pleats at the back associated with Scotland. Today, the kilt is a symbol of Scottish national pride. The dirndl is associated with the Alpine regions of southern Germany, Austria, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, and Italy. Later hosen, the knee-length leather breeches worn in Germany by men, was historically workwear across Central Europe particularly associated with Bavaria and the Tyrol region. Western dress reflects a liberal way of life where people make their own choices about what they wear. On the other hand, Eastern countries like Pakistan and Saudi Arabia rely on old traditions to determine dress codes. In some areas of the world, religion plays a key role on clothing and dictates how people, especially women, must dress. Many Muslim women wear garb that ensures their entire bodies are covered as specified by their religious law. In North Africa, Arabic-speaking nomadic peoples of the Middle East deserts, especially of North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, Egypt, Israel, Iraq, Syria, and Jordan are all called Bedouins. The women wear very modest clothing. In Saudi Arabia, the country's religion-based dress code requires women to cover themselves and wear abayas, full-length and all-black robes. National dress is typically quite distinctive. The style does not change. It is passed from generation to generation and reflects the identity and history of the region that it represents. The ways of a society are deep-rooted and reflected in traditions and traditional clothing that preserve continuity. Do you have a question for Grandma Carol? Email me at askgrandmacarol at yahoo.com. Yours just might be one of the questions I answer on the show. And don't forget to give this episode a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified when new episodes come out. I'm so glad you're here.